Um, in terms of organizing events, what's one of like the most stressful moments that you've had there? If I had to pinpoint a most stressful moment, I think that would have been Edinburgh last year because we we stepped in last minute to host a IFSC World Cup quite late notice. And by the time we'd got the go ahead that we could we could step in and host it, we had seven seven to eight weeks planning. So I was away at the time with the para climbing team in Innsbruck and I was on this call when they were we were discussing whether or not we could go ahead and, and run the event and we decided to at the end. So we had seven to eight weeks of planning to pull this event together. The night of the event, so we'd just done the technical meeting on the Friday night. It's about to start Saturday morning, you know, T minus six hours or something. And the queen dies. And we have no idea if the event's going to go ahead, if we can run it, if the government's going to cancel. So I'd say that's probably been one of my most stressful events (laughs) to date. Why was it only like a seven, eight week notice ahead of time? Oh, Wuxiang in um, Wuxiang in China had pulled out pretty late, so they they couldn't host, and they were desperate to try and find another host. And I don't know, we we like a challenge in the UK. So first of all, I think this was like your first World Cup event that you've worked on. This was my first World Cup event I'd worked on. Yes, in. In 2019, we'd hosted a European event at the same venue up in Scotland in the International Climate Arena. Amazing facility. So that was that was my first event, kind of European event to get to grips with internationals. But this was our first, this was my first World Cup. So to combine it with eight weeks of planning and then have the Queen die was uh, pretty challenging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess after the the death, like what what happened in those few hours between Friday and Saturday night? We were desperately trying to find information on whether or not we could actually host the event. A lot of a lot of games, football games, etc., were being cancelled out of respect, and so you're in that middle ground where okay, we've got a whole international event due to take place. We've got loads of people that have arrived in Edinburgh expecting to climb. We've sold tickets. We've got the the you know the arenas ready to go. We've got staff. We've everything's been organised, and we're just not sure if we're going to be able to run it or not. And if if the government says we can't run it, then we can't run it. So it was quite an interesting an interesting time. I think I got to bed around one in the morning. Had a very restless night's sleep. And woke up to the news we could go ahead, but we couldn't have any social media coverage of the event out of respect. So we rushed off to Hobbycraft and we got some black ribbon and we tried to make it as respectful as we could with silences throughout the day. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I guess what do you mean by no social media coverage of the event? Because I mean, obviously, it was still streamed. Oh, so it was. Um, we weren't allowed. We, out of respect, we didn't publish anything across our social media channels. So we didn't. We didn't highlight that the event was taking place. We didn't. We had loads of social media coverage planned to highlight the athletes, to highlight the um, the bagpiper that we had there that led out the procession of of the finalists. Um, but in the end, we yeah we chose out of respect not to not to highlight any of that across our social media channels over that weekend. I mean, we obviously highlighted bits after, but over the weekend we didn't do very much. And how did it turn out for you in the end? You feel like did it was it a successful event? Definitely, I I definitely learned a lot. Um, I had a blast. It was it was great. The seeing all the lighting and the athletes, everything coming together, the atmosphere. It was long, long hours, long old hours, but yeah, it was, it was, it gave me a real good taste of what we could do. Um, so I was just buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> 